Hello everyone. Let us see the concept of blending modes in Photoshop with examples. So, let us start. So here is the list of all the 27 blending modes and all these blending modes are divided into different categories. The first category of blending modes that we can see on top are the normal blending modes. Here we have the normal and dissolve and after that we have the special blending modes the darken blending mode, the lighten blending mode, the contrast blending mode, the inverse blending mode and finally the component blending mode. So here we can see. So first we need to understand how these blending modes work. What is the exact concept of these blending modes? Blending modes mix two layers. The top layer is the blend layer and the bottom layer is the base layer. Blending modes take the pixels of the top layer or the blend layer and also take the pixels of the base layer and combine them according to the brightness, darkness and also the color information in both the layers. So here we can see the normal blending mode is the first and the default blending mode. It doesn't have any effect on the layers. It has two blending modes the normal category actually the normal category has normal and dissolve. So it, these two blending modes do not have any impact the next one which is the dark blending modes here in the list of dark blending modes we can find darken multiply color burn linear burn darker color so these blending modes are called as the dark blending modes for a reason they will subtract or make the light pixels translucent or they make the lighter colors or the white color or colors close to the white color invisible and they retain the dark pixels the next blending mode is the bright blending modes the bright blending modes have light and screen color dots linear dots lighter color these blending modes do the exact opposite of dark blending modes these blending modes brighten up the images and they subtract or make the dark pixels or the black or the colors close to black transparent or invisible. The next blending mode is the contrast blending mode. This blending mode consists of overlay, soft light, hard light, vivid light, linear light, pin light, hard mix. These blending modes subtract or make 50% gray areas invisible and these blending modes make the dark pixels more dark and bright pixels more bright and the next comes inversion blending modes these blending modes completely inverse the colors they inverse black to white and white to black that is why they are called inversion blending modes and uh, the inversion blending modes are difference, exclusion, subtract and divide. And the last category of blending modes are hue, saturation, color, luminosity. These blending modes have effect on the hue, saturation and luminosity of the images. So now we will see the impact of these blending modes with some images. So here I have taken a grayscale image. The image has 
pure white color on the left side and pure black color on the right side and at the center it has gray colors or gray shades and uh, at the bottom we have at the bottom layer we have this image of a city so we will be applying blending modes to the top layer so that is why the top layer is called the blend layer and the layer that is going to be affected by this blending modes is the base layer which is the city layer right so now we'll start with the first and the default blend mode normal so like you see nothing will happen it will keep all the colors intact it will keep all the pixels of the top layer as well as the bottom layer intact without changing anything so that is why we don't understand anything from this default blending mode so the next one is dissolve so the dissolve blending mode also has the same impact it also does not affect the layer in any way but there is one thing that we can do to see the effect of dissolve here we have opacity and if I reduce the opacity we can see some noisy effect some interesting noisy effect can be created by just reducing the opacity so this is all that we can do with the dissolve blending mode right so the next blending modes are the ones which are really interesting and these are the ones that we are going to use to blend the images to mix the pixels or the colors of the two layers right so the first one is the darken blending mode the first category of uh, blending modes which have an impact are the darken blending modes so the first one is the darken so you can see here so the moment i apply the darken blending mode we can see the left side area has become invisible so the left side all the lighter colors or colors close to white have disappeared and on the right side we can see the pure black color and we can also see the shades of gray colors the dark gray colors are all visible here so this is what the dark and blending mode does it removes the lighter colors and retains the darker colors the next blending mode is multiply this is the most popular blending mode we use this blending mode a lot so this blending mode finds the darker pixels and it will subtract the lighter pixels just like the dark and blend mode but it has something called intensity so it will multiply the darkness so we can just see by duplicating this layer see the moment I have duplicated the layer you can see the intensity it has just multiplied the darkness in the image right and the next one is the color burn this color burn blending mode is too intense it is it has more intensity than the multiply so that is why it has completely made the light gray and the lighter colors transparent or invisible on the other hand it has made the dark colors even darker so it is more intense than multiply the next blending mode is the linear burn so the linear burn blending mode is comparatively less intense than the color burn but it is more intense compared to the multiply and like all the dark blending modes linear burn also makes the lighter colors translucent or invisible so here we can see a layer 
which has blue color and at the bottom we can see the image of a girl so if we try to examine the color burn and the linear burn blending modes we can see some change we can see some difference so let me apply the color burn blending mode see the color burn blending mode has turned the image the color burn blending mode has applied a bluish coloring to the image of this girl but we can see at the center of her nose there is a pure white shine and also on her forehead we can see the white shining so what it means is the color burn does not have any effect on the pure white color so that is why wherever it finds the pure white color it ignores it ignores the color it has no impact on pure white color in contrast if you apply linear burn blending mode see it has also affected the light colors the lightest or the pure white color it has turned the pure white color into a blue color so this is the difference between linear burn and color burn blending modes right the last blending mode this blending mode we don't use uh, too often it just replaces the lighter pixels and keeps the darker pixels right now we'll move on to the next category of blending modes these are light and blending modes these blending modes do the exact opposite of dark blending modes and we'll start with the first one lighten and we can see here when i apply the lighten blending mode it has done exact opposite of the dark and blending mode so what it has done is it has completely made the dark pixels invisible and it has retained the lighter pixels or the white pixels right and next comes the screen this is also a very popular blending mode and uh, just like multiply which is used to darken the images screen is used to brighten the images we can just see by duplicating this layer the moment you duplicate the layer we can see the brightness see the brightness has intensified so this is the advantage of screen blending mode right so the next comes color dodge color dodge is the exact opposite of color burn so like you can see with color burn there is lot of uh, blackness on the right side of the image with color dodge there is lot of whiteness on the left side of the image and there is lot of exposure here right so to brighten the scenes and if you want too much brightness too much lighting in the scene we can use this color dodge blending mode next comes linear dodge linear dodge is the exact opposite of linear burn just like color burn and linear burn color dodge and linear dodge have a different effect on the darkest colors in the image so let me explain see here when i apply color dodge see it has brightened the image but what it has done is it has not affected the pure black colors just see here the pure black color near her hair is still intact it has not affected the pure black color and if you change color dodge to linear dodge see this area has become a bluish the pure black area has become bluish so linear dodge will convert the pure black areas into the color that we have selected but color dodge will not have any effect on the pure black or the darkest of all colors so that is the difference the last blending mode in the lighten section is the lighter color 
Lighter color like its cousin darker color will keep the light pixels intact and remove the dark pixels. This blending mode is also not commonly used. Right. Now we'll move on to the next section which is the contrast blending mode section. The contrast blending mode applies contrast to the image. So what is contrast? Contrast means brightening up the bright areas, darkening the dark areas and making the gray areas transparent. So this is what contrast blend modes are going to do. So the first contrast blending mode is overlay. The moment I select overlay blend mode, we can see the change. The pure black color on the right side can be seen on this building and the pure white color which is on the left side can also be seen on this building. But at the middle all the gray colors have disappeared. The light gray and the dark gray all these gray shades are gone. So the contrast blend mode will erase the gray areas. It will only retain pure white and pure black colors. So the overlay blend mode is the most commonly used blend mode. It is mainly used to add or apply contrast to the images. So here we have an image of a landscape. To apply contrast to the image, all we have to do is just take a duplicate of this image. Just hit Ctrl J. So what we have to do now is we will just change the blending mode to overlay and we can see the change. See if we keep the blending mode to normal. So now you can see the image is looking a little bit dim. But the moment you select overlay, see the image is looking a little bit dark and also it is also having some brightness and we can also intensify the effect of overlay blend mode by simply taking more duplicates of this image see now it has more contrast and if I take one more duplicate see it has more contrast so in this way we can use this overlay blend mode to apply more and more contrast to the image. The next blending mode is soft light. Soft light is the milder version of overlay. Even though the change is subtle, this soft light blending mode can be very useful for changing the skin tones, for applying different skin tones for some images or for photographic effects. Here we can see there is a little bit of white on this building and also on the right side we can see some black on this building. This is due to the soft light blending mode and the soft light is less intense compared to overlay. We can check. And also the soft light blending mode has erased the gray colors in the image. Right. The next one is the hard light. The hard light blending mode is a combination of multiply and screen. We can see here the left side we can see the pure white and the colors close to white the light gray colors. On the right side we can see pure black color and the colors or the light gray colors close to black. The gray colors close to black. And at the middle the 50% gray colors have all become transparent. So hard light is a combination of multiply and screen. If we want to use both multiply and screen together we have to choose hard light. Right. 
The next one is vivid light. So vivid light is the combination of color dodge and color burn. We can see the effect here. Just like color dodge, it has made the left side, left side of the image completely white and the right side of the image completely black. In the middle, it has completely erased the gray colors. Next one is the linear light. Linear light blending mode is a combination of linear dodge and linear burn. So we can see the change. The pin light blending mode darkens and lightens the areas of the image. It darkens the dark pixels and lightens the light pixels and it removes the midtones or the 50% gray areas from the image. So the next one is the hard mix. The hard mix blending mode, it will filter out eight colors. When what are those eight colors? CMY RGB, cyan, magenta, yellow, red, green, blue. And the last two main colors are black and white. Right. So these are the contrast blending modes. Now we'll move on to the inverse blending modes. The inverse blending modes are difference, exclusion, subtract and divide. The inverse blend mode inverses the colors. It will swap the colors. So let us see how it is going to work. Right now we are in, we have applied the difference blend mode. Let me change it back to normal. With the normal blend mode, we can see the colors. The right side has a pure black color. The left side has pure white color. And at the middle, we can see the gray colors. The right side, we can see the dark gray colors. Left side of the image, we can see the light gray colors. Now, let's keep these colors in mind and uh, let's apply the difference blend mode. And we can see how it has swapped the colors. The white color on the left side is shifted to the right side and the black color on the right side has shifted to the left side and we can see here and also dark gray colors shifted to the left side and the light gray colors shifted to the right side. So the colors have swapped. So that is why these blending modes are called inverse blending mode inverse blending modes. The next blending mode is the exclusion blending mode. The exclusion blending mode is similar to the difference blending mode. The only thing that we can observe here is exclusion blending mode retains the gray areas. We can see here at the middle we can see the gray colors. But in contrast the difference blending mode will make those gray areas semi-transparent right then we can see what is subtract the subtract blend mode shift the darker pixels to the left side and makes the right side transparent and the last blending mode in the inverse section is divide and what divide has done is the exact opposite of subtract it has made the left side transparent and it has shifted the white color to the right side and we can see here and also we can see an example with these inverse blend modes we can see the opposites of all colors the opposite of cyan is red opposite of magenta is green opposite of yellow is blue and the opposite of black is white and also we have the color values for cyan, for magenta, for yellow. So now we will see the effect of inverse blend modes on these colors. So we'll start with cyan. And we have to keep this value in mind. So we can copy this value and we can simply paste this value here. 
So this is the cyan color value, the hexadecimal value, right? Now we will apply the cyan color to this layer. Simply we will use the keyboard shortcut Alt plus backspace. Right. Right now we are in we are in normal blend mode. We will change the normal blend mode to subtract. And we can see the change. As we have seen, the opposite of cyan is red. So we can see the red color here. And we can also try the divide. And we can see here the red color shades. And now let us change the color to magenta. And we will copy the value for magenta. Simply we will copy and we will paste the value in this input field. Right. And now we will apply the magenta color here. And as we all know, the opposite of magenta is green. So we should get green color. See, we have applied a divide blending mode and we will try with subtract. See, the magenta has turned into green. Right. And we will just find out the last color which is yellow. The opposite of yellow is blue. So the value for yellow is this one. We will copy the value and we will paste the value. And now we will change the layer color to yellow. So we should get blue. See? So this is the effect of inverse blend modes. They are going to just inverse the colors. It means they are going to find the opposite color. The last blending modes are hue, saturation, color and luminosity. These are the component blend modes. Let us see how they are going to affect the base layer. So here I have selected an image which has a lot of colors, rainbow colors. The reason why I have taken too many colors here is the last blend mode which is the component blend mode does not have any effect on black and white colors. It simply turns the base layer to a grayscale image if we use pure black or white colors. So we'll be using the hue. Hue means all colors except black and white. So here I have taken all the different colors, blue, yellow, orange, etc. And uh, we'll be starting with the first blend mode in the component blend mode category that is hue. So see here. So what hue blend mode does is it produces a result based on the luminance and the saturation of base layer and the hue of the blend layer. So we can see the result here. We can see in some places how the color has blended with the base layer or this or this building image. The next blend mode is the saturation. See the moment I apply saturation, the image has become a little bit dark, a little bit concentrated or saturated. The so saturation blend mode produces a result based on the hue and luminance of the base layer and the saturation of the blend layer. The next blend mode is the color blend mode. This is the most popular blend mode and this blend mode is mainly used to colorize the grayscale images and the last blend mode is the luminosity the luminosity blend mode will take the hue and saturation of the base layer and 
produces a result based on the luminosity of the blend layer. The next uh, blend mode is the color blend mode. See the moment I applied the color blend mode, the image got colorized. And uh, we can also try with multiply and also with screen. And we can see how multiply and screen are affecting the base layer. When I apply multiply blend mode, the multiply has erase the lighter pixels and it has only retained the darker pixels and in contrast when you apply the screen blend mode it has erased the darker pixels and it has retained the brighter pixels and if you select overlay blend mode it has erased the semi transparent or the gray pixels Let's do some practical examples with blending modes. So here I have taken an image of a person who is holding his hands. So we'll unlock the layer and we'll import an image of a flame. So here we have an image of a flame. So we will just put this flame on his hand and we can see the black color background for this flame so what we can do is we can remove the black color behind this flame and what is the blend mode that's going to remove the black so we have already learnt that is screen blending mode so we can simply select screen see the screen blending mode has remove the black color background around the flame and if you want to enhance the effect if you want the flame to be more bright just take a duplicate of this layer simply hit ctrl j and we can see the effect right and we can do something more interesting here i can take a duplicate layer and i'm going to select the brush and the brush is the soft rounded brush and here we will be using one more blending mode that is color dodge this is the brightest blending mode this blending mode belongs to the lighten category so it will brighten up the image so now what we will do is we can pick a color and then with the color dodge blend mode active and also we will slightly increase the flow value for the brush and then if you simply click here see we can also create a glow around the flame and we can also intensify the glow by just taking a duplicate see and uh, we can also use linear dodge blending mode see the linear dodge blending mode has a slightly different effect right so this is one nice interesting example with lightened blending modes I have taken an image of a blood spill and uh, I will just drag this image and drop it on top of this person's face and we can slightly scale it right now what we can do is we can create an illusion of some injury on his face so here we have the blood spill and the background is white so we have to remove this white background so we can use the blend mode multiply so we can see here and one thing we can do is we can also apply some mask to it so then uh, we can erase some unwanted areas here so we can increase the flow value and we can create some illusion of a head injury 
So something like this. Just we will erase the sharp edges. See, and you, we can also enhance this effect simply by taking a duplicate, right? And we can also do one more thing here. In case we want the blood spill on this wall, we can just select the blood spill and just place it over this wall. And we will change the blend mode to multiply. See, it has completely removed the white color from the image and we can also check color burn linear burn I'm going to darken the blood spill even further multiply is uh, the perfect uh, option here so we use multiply then more too often we can use color blend mode to colorize any image to apply different colors to any part of the image so here we have a lady who is showing her nails. So we will colorize her nails. Just we'll take a new layer. And what we'll do is we will select her nails. To select her nails, uh, we can use the magic wand or we can also use quick selection. All we have to do is we have to zoom and uh, we will just select her nails. We can hold shift. We can hold shift and uh, select her nails. Right. So all her nails are selected. And now what we'll do is we can apply any color. So we can select this pink color and simply we'll use alt and backspace. And now we'll change the blend mode to color. So we can see here. And we can also particularly apply the color of our choice. If we don't like the same color for all the nails, we can apply different color to the nails. So let me change the color. So here I have changed the color to green. And let me paint green here. See? And also, I will paint blue for this name. And we will also paint one more color. So let me paint yellow. Okay, yellow is not so interesting. So we can uh, pick one more color here. So we can uh, select orange. Right. So we can apply different colors and uh, another thing that we can do with the color blending mode is we can colorize grayscale images so let us see that here we have a grayscale image we can apply color to the jewelry of this lady and also to the sari of this lady so let me unlock the background Let's take a new layer about this ladies layer and we will change the blending mode to color and we will also pick a color of the jewelry. So the jewelry is uh, having a golden color. So what we can do is uh, we can find uh, the golden color which is in between yellow and orange. So something like this. Right. So now what we'll do, we'll simply zoom and I have selected a brush, a soft rounded brush and then we can just start painting. See, we can just paint this gold color. And the color blending mode has no effect on pure black and pure white colors. It has only effect on the gray colors.
right see we are colorizing her jewelry so just I'm doing it quickly just to save time right and we'll also finish off for uh, the left side and in case uh, we have painted on her skin like this so what we can do is we can change the foreground color to white and then simply we can erase the unwanted color right again we'll bring back the foreground color to this golden color and we can start painting right we can see a pearl we'll give a pure red color to the pearl that's it and here also we can see some pearl right and uh, we'll just pick this golden color right and we'll just paint on her bangles so we can use these examples for album designing for photography effects and also for advertising and see we have painted the jewelry by using color blending mode. I will take one more layer and I will change the blend mode to color again. And this time I will paint over her sand. And I will select green color and I will start painting green on her sand. We can carefully paint green color. And uh, just complete the sign the original color of the sari is red here we are painting green we can also paint some other colors right So this is how we can use the color blending mode. We have seen different blending modes such as multiply, overlay, screen, color and we have seen interesting results with these blending modes. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please do subscribe, like, share and if you have anything to say, do comment. See you again.